we are going to log into we are going to to SAP again and we will double click on this SWI2 underscore diac that's the transaction code and here we will just select the last 30 days so you can put duration here you can put filters the filters can be a dialogue task or a workflow task but we will run it wide open okay so if you notice there is four items here that are that are in error and all of these are purchase position now from here you can restart one workflow at a time by clicking on and hitting restart but if you have multiples like in this case the same thing we, will, we are going to copy this workflow ids and we are going to do control y put the cursor we'll do control c and we'll create a session and here we are going to go in swpr and here we'll paste again upload from clipboard we'll execute and here we will execute it here okay now nothing is showing because by default there is a time duration is created on so what you can do is you can I'll just change the date to 2016 now it will show now again the same thing we are going to select all and we can restart workflow once we restart workflow, it will. Now, if you notice, nothing disappeared because even after restarting, it didn't do anything. Okay, so there's some some errors in things like the approvals are not yet maintained and all those things. So in this case, what you can do, you can let the business know, hey, something needs to be maintained. Now here, if you click on restart immediately and execute, it will do those whatever we did it before. Okay, so these things you can do. Okay, so so let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay, and let's get back to the next task, which is determine orphaned work items which are assigned to deleted users. Now this is this is very important because lots of times when people leave the company, they forget that there are some tasks that they need to work on so those work items needs to be found out so what generally a workflow administrator should do is just go to their transaction go to SAP and execute this transaction code okay and you can just select wharf and only okay and here you execute so if you see there's no data found okay so since so there's no there's no real so all the orphan work items are already taken care of so in these cases what you can do is so if there is any work item that came you can just assign forward it to, to, to someone or something and this is ad hoc okay the business may not be asking you to do it this is like a health check you do like you go to take flu shots or something you go for a medical exam so these things you have to do for the SAP workflow tool to work properly okay so let's go to the next slide okay and so the next thing we are going to do is determine work items that are assigned to no users okay so lots of times you have created a dialog work item but you have assigned to someone who is probably that user id doesn't exist or it is not it is assigned to a person uh with with no user id okay. so in those cases what you can do is we are going to go to the favorites and execute this transaction code here again here we are going to put last 30 days okay and here we see these are the transaction codes that we have found these are all the workflow ids that are not assigned to anyone so how uh, so if i double click on all of them and i click on workflow log and if i click on these agents 
the cyclic agents there is no one assigned. So in those cases, in generally, the business will let you know whom to forward. So just for for now, I'll just click on administrative forward, and I'll just send it to Sonia. Okay, it's a test user, and if you see, if I now do a refresh, all are gone. So so this is also very useful. Lots of time, uh, if a work item is assigned to a person and uh, that person is not really there or it's a blank person it's a blank user id then you need to assign this okay so let's go back to this next task okay so this is another one lots of times we get an instance where uh, business creates a purchase order sales order and they say oh i want to delete this sales order and for that please delete the workflow so what in technical term we we cannot delete workflows we are going to logically delete a workflow instance okay and this is never assigned to a to an end user you need to do it okay so what we can do here is we'll just pick pick some more so here we have last 30 users so we'll get some error workflow okay that we are want to delete okay so here i'll click last seven days and if you notice again the same thing i'll click control y so these are the work items that i want to delete okay and then go back and i double click on swia and i paste it and i execute I execute and then here what you can do is you can individually go to each item and you can click on this go to technical work item display edit change and you can logically delete okay but I'll cancel it I'll show you a faster way where you don't have to do all these clicks now this world is all about less clicks so we want to make it faster so what you have to do first thing is you have to select all okay and then here type in ADMC and you press enter once you do that all those clicking that we were doing for each will be done for all and if you see the status is now cancelled from error so this means the workflow has been logically deleted this is very useful and you get a lot of item for this okay so let's now go to the next